In the UK, most managing directors are ex-accountants. In Germany, they're ex-engineers in the main. Um, and um, it's interesting, I hope it's a tangent, that the two most successful post-war economies until fairly recently were Japan and uh, West Germany. Um, and they had two advantages. Uh, in the case of West Germany, more clearly, they, after the war, all the kit was taken away from them, so all the semi obsolete machine tools were shipped to Birmingham. So Mercedes and BMW built brand new stuff from scratch, which is an advantage. And the other big one, uh, I'm not sure about Japan, um, was that they were both sort of banned by industrial law from putting anything into, into armament. So, in the sense that peace, the sort of peace is a continuation of war by another name, they were constrained to fight the war, wars economically. And of course Japan had the advantage of TQM, initially an export from America largely. Um, and people who were kind of a mixture between academics and practitioners, consultants, I think. Um, but certainly TQM was an area of academic study, the learning organization didn't really take off you know, for decades after its success. And I think America re-imported um, TQM at the point at well, the point at which um, you know they were sitting head office in General Motors and no notice they were were coming to work in Toyotas and the like. <laughs> yeah, it was in the eighties Denning Denning for sure. went back to the Indians. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, you'll know more about that than, than me. Well I know the I know the quality end of it. Yeah you will be. Which is why I'm very interested in where you, where you suggest the links we're learning, because I think that's well, it, not I mean, it's, it, 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 it's pretty much in there, isn't there? It isn't it? I mean, Kaizen and quality circles are learning mechanisms, perhaps, and um, whether it's down to TQM or um, cultural practice in Japan, it's kind of um, senior managers to walk the top floor and wear the overalls and have a spell on the production line or the customer interface is much more common and that's got to feed that often missing up the loop between operations sure. And, sure. and policy. Yes. So I think I, whether it's through TQM or maybe it made, uh, made it fertile ground for TQM is probably quite likely or whatever the case, although not using the learning organisation words, they were probably into it as a kind of implicit process for quite a long time. Yeah, I, I, I think Deming then in Japan as much as it's all. But yeah. that's, that's not, that's not <laughs> always good. There you, go. you know, I think that's an area to look at. For sure. And work out what, what's happening now. For sure.